Welcome back to Legit Pick, where we dive deep into the world of gadgets, gear, and everything cool in tech. If you're passionate about the night sky and want to capture the beauty of stars, planets, and galaxies like never before, you're in the right place. Today we're going to reveal some critical truths about astrophotography, the things no one tells you. Whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned pro, these tips and insights will change the way you approach astrophotography forever. Let's dive in. Okay, let's be real for a second. Astrophotography is hard, and I'm not talking about the occasional failed shot or blurry image. I mean capturing those jaw-dropping images of galaxies or the perfect planetary shot is a lot more than just point and shoot. And here's why. First, there's light pollution. And if you live near a city, it's like trying to take a photo of the stars from behind a giant spotlight. The light from street lamps, buildings, and traffic messes with your shot. So the first thing you need to know is, if you want clear stunning images, you'll need to get out of the city or find a dark sky location. Even the best telescopes can't fight light pollution. Now let's talk about focus. You think it's as simple as adjusting the knob and hoping for the best? <laughs> Not quite. Getting sharp focus is a skill in itself. A tiny adjustment can turn your stars into blurry blobs. Even a small mistake in focusing can ruin an entire night of imaging. Next is the gear. Everyone wants the best telescope and camera to get those epic shots. But but here's a secret most people won't tell you. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to get great astrophotography results. Sure, you can buy a high-end telescope, but if you don't know how to use it or you're not in the right location, that expensive gear is just going to collect dust. Astrophotography isn't just about expensive equipment, it's about mastering the gear you have and making the most of it. You can start with something relatively affordable, like a good entry-level telescope or even a DSLR camera with a tripod and some patience. As you learn, you can upgrade your equipment based on your needs. Here's another little-known fact – tracking mounts. If you want those long exposures of deep sky objects, a regular tripod just won't cut it. You need a tracking mount to follow the stars as the Earth rotates. Without one, your stars are going to look like streaks, not pinpricks of light. But here's the twist – a good tracking mount can cost as much as your telescope or even more. So make sure you're investing in one that's right for your needs. Alright, so you've got your gear and you're ready to shoot. But there's something no one tells you about astrophotography. Exposure time matters, and you need to be patient. Capturing faint objects like distant galaxies, nebula, or even the Milky Way takes time. And I'm talking minutes to hours of exposure time. This isn't like taking a quick photo of your dog. No, you've got to let your camera absorb light for long periods, stacking multiple images to bring out the details. The longer you expose the camera to the night sky, the more light it gathers, and the more beautiful your image will be. But here's the catch. You can't just shoot for hours non-stop. You need to take multiple exposures and then stack them together later to reduce noise and improve image quality. And by the way, you'll need a computer to process all those images. Software like Deep Sky Stacker or Photoshop will become your best friend. You're going to need it to handle all those stacked images and bring out the hidden details in your photos. Let's talk about something most astrophotographers overlook at first – calibration frames. Sounds technical, right? But trust me, once you understand these, you'll see your images go from OK to out of this world amazing. There are three types of calibration frames you absolutely need to take alongside your images. Dark frames, flat frames, and bias frames. Sounds like a lot? Yeah, it is, but it makes all the difference. Dark frames help you eliminate sensor noise. If you've ever seen those random colored pixels in your images, you know exactly what I mean. Flat frames fix uneven lighting across your photo, and bias frames help remove any residual sensor noise. Once you stack and calibrate with all these frames, you'll have a noise-free image that pops with detail. Astrophotography is definitely not a one-and-done thing. There's a huge learning curve, and that's something nobody tells you. But here's the thing, you're not going to capture your best shot on your first try, 
or your second, or even your tenth. You're going to spend hours, days, or even weeks refining your skills. From understanding the best time to shoot, which is usually during certain phases of the moon, or the best season for particular objects in the sky, to experimenting with different exposure times and settings, it's all part of the journey. It's a blend of technical skill, patience, and creativity. So don't get discouraged. The more you practice, the better your shots will become. So, now you know what nobody tells you about astrophotography. It's challenging, requires practice, and is as much about the journey as it is the destination. But once you get the hang of it, the results are absolutely worth it. Whether you're shooting the stunning ring of Saturn or dazzling Andromeda Galaxy, it's all about learning, improving, and enjoying the process. If you've enjoyed today's video and want more tips and tricks on astrophotography, gear, and everything in between, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Until then, keep reaching for the stars. Literally.